IITM Madras student community is now providing one-to-one -one qualifier coaching for applicants. We provide four subjects full training and guidance with three hours classes daily, till February 24, 2024. We will be providing live recorded sessions notes for all doubt sessions for students who want to crack their IIT Madras qualifier exam easily. We have Customizable and selective coaching Comprehensive support Detailed analysis Flexible pricing in which the poor students and the ones without parents get the coaching free of cost. Greetings everybody. In this session, we will be discussing the Greta Dyson Inventory of Computational Thinking. So, this is the very first question. If you look at the very first question, so uh, P is 0 and Q is 0, both are zeros. Please note this point. It is being executed using what data set p equal to 0 q equal to 0 while table only has more rows which is very basic read the first row x in table 1 and now coming to the fourth point which is very much important if x dot letter count modulo divided by 2 is 0 what does this mean? This means that if the letter count of picked up word is even. In such case, what will we be doing? We will be incrementing the value of P by 1. If it is not even number, that is, if the letter count is 3, 5, 7, 9, any odd number, then we will be checking if the picked up word is an adverb. If it is an adverb, then we will be incrementing Q. So now, let us find out the most suitable answers. As discussed, what will P represent at the end of execution? We have seen that P represents the number of words with an even letter count. Right. What will Q represent at the end of execution? Please observe here that Q is only concerned with adverbs. Therefore, we will have to eliminate any option which is without adverbs. So, option C is not including the word called adverb. Therefore, it's eliminated. And now coming to the letter count. Here, in the condition for Q, there is no letter count given to us, therefore both A and B are also wrong. In this way, D is the correct answer. This is called solve by elimination method. And this method is highly recommended to be used because it gives you the answer in a very perfect way and easy way. Now coming to question number 3. The following pseudocode is executed using scores dataset. Here, scores dataset is being used. E is true. Initially, E is true. Right? So, if gender is female, the first condition is it should be female. And then, if x dot physics less than 60 physics less than 60 chemistry less than 60 and mathematics less than 60 but the key point here to be observed is that we are using an OR operator that is if any of the three is a true then the complete result will be true in such case E will be updated to false. So what are you being asked here? We are being asked to find out at the end of execution E will be true. So when will E remain to be true? Only if this condition is not satisfied. Right. 
only if this is not satisfied that is if all the three are false that is physics should be greater than or equal to 60 chemistry should be greater than or equal to 60 and math should be greater than or equal to 60 in such case e will remain to be true only so now coming to the correct options it is obviously option a because all female students have score greater than or equal to 60 neither physics it is not either it is in every subject therefore option a is a mistake and even this is also a mistake option d is the correct answer because it is not using the word called either which has been used in option a therefore option d is the correct answer for question number three now coming to question number four the following pseudo code is executed while using the shopping bills data set procedure check shopping bills accepts a card y and returns true when does it return true it returns true if minimum total bill amount is greater than the average total bill if minimum is greater than average <coughs> then the answer then the answer is true right so let us find out the most suitable answer here procedure count is zero total amount is zero minimum amount is maximum value if x dot shop name uh, that's also fine and this count is uh, no matter required for us because it's only checking for the total number of bills that have been acquired from a shop total amount equal to total amount plus x dot total bill amount this is being calculated in order to find out the average bill right so everything is done it is pre it is uh, solved till uh, step number 14 and the, the and the key point which has to be calculated is missing in the line number 40 15 to 17 so let us put the appropriate one if minimum bill amount is greater than equal to no it is not greater than equal to it is only greater than right it is only greater than the average bill amount it is not greater than or equal to it is only greater than therefore the correct answer is not a if minimum amount is greater than average amount then we are returning true else it will be false therefore the correct answer the correct option is d now coming to the final question of part one video the following pseudocode is executed using scores data set what will a represent at the end of execution a is zero while table one has more rows and remember these points a is 0 and B is true they are asking us what will A represent so let's find it out if x dot physics greater than or equal to 60 again the same concept physics chemistry and math if all are at least 60 then b is false and now coming to the condition at line number eight we only do any operation if it is true and when does b remain to be true b, re b remains to be true if every student scored less than 60 in, in all the three subjects right so option a is correct
this is the end of uh, part one video guys please uh, do like share and subscribe the channel thank you for watching the video